garage. So we got the CCM here, no heat call, ECM's dead. Um, I'm getting high voltage, so we tested high voltage, which is in this case, uh, he's back here. Okay, so we have high voltage. Low voltage is the black and red. That's the call, and we are getting that. Motor doesn't come on. Felt the motor was red hot, so it's dead. This found this inside there, so it probably binded it up. So um, it is under warranty. The motor won't be here till um, sometime next week. Like literally, that's what they told me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in a PSC motor. And we're gonna make this thing work, give them some heat, and then once some real motor comes in, we'll pop that back in. So um, here's how we do that. So here we go. All right, so we got the motor installed. So with ECM's constant torque, we have high voltage, which is this one here. And then these two wires here are control. So I have no call for anything. Um, now, high voltage is provided to the um, blower motor all the time. So we would need black, white, and red, white. Should we get about 240? We are, okay. All right, so our white wire for here is gonna go in one of those, and then that one's gonna go to our relay. And then these will control the relay coil. So um, I shouldn't be getting any voltage on these right now. I should be getting nothing, unless I have a call. Oh yeah, zero volts. So we're doing good. So far, so good. So it's very important that you understand what wire can, goes to what. So let's figure this out. And then, like I said, we're going to come back. So I'm going to try not to chop this up. All right, so we got everything wired up. We have line one. Or I'm sorry, line two is the white wire. Line one is going from here into this relay. And then the high-speed blower is coming out of the relay. I have my common in my hot, um, which is when I receive a call, this will energize. Uh, so that should close this contactor, or I'm sorry, this uh, relay, which is normally open switch. We'll close that, allowing 240 volts to be powered to that motor, which should turn it on. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, try it and see what happens. And hopefully, I might have to change the direction. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Okay, so first test, I'm just going to no call. Stand back. Here we go. All right, nothing's blown up yet. Okay, cool. We're going to try doing a call for fan. Okay, R to G. Call for fan. All right, seems to be okay. All right, so now that I know it works and that's been the proper direction, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and make it, you know, mount everything, make it safe. So yeah, heck yeah. Okay, just making sure it turns on and off. Cool, and we're checking run amps. That's probably using about three to four. I have the door off, so it's kind of high right now. All right, so, and it is spinning the correct direction, so sweet. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and test a few more things, but I'm pretty happy with this result. And then once we get the motor, we'll come back and put that back in. And I was able to not have to hack up all the wires, which was nice. So anyway, hopefully this helps you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.